Hi, welcome to Getting Started with Elixir by Pact Publishing. Elixir is a fun and exciting new programming language based on Erlang and built from the ground up to help you create scalable, reliable, distributed applications with a friendly and easy to use syntax and tooling system. I'm João and I'll be your guide in this learning journey. In this video, we'll be doing a brief overview of the course and what you will be learning on it. But before we start, let me tell you a bit about myself. I'm a software engineer with seven years of experience in building complex distributed systems and applications for the banking and telco industries. I've recently developed a passion for functional programming and in particular Erlang and its much nicer sibling, which is Elixir. Since then, I've developed and maintained production systems using Elixir at my current company. I'm also an avid learner and enjoy doing photography and small electronics projects in my spare time. This course is divided into seven sections. On the first section, you will learn about the origins of Elixir and its roots in the Erlang programming language. You will also learn what the functional programming paradigm is and what makes this language so special. In the second section, you will learn about the Elixir type system and also about collections and complex data types. This will give you a grasp on how to program in Elixir and how you can use the different data types to express more complex computations. In the next section, you will learn about one of the amazing features of Erlang that made it to Elixir, pattern matching. You will learn how it differs from assignment and how it can be used effectively in practice to extract data from complex structures and as a mechanism for function dispatch. In the next section, we will explore functions as a way to express reusable computation, how to group them in modules and how to create anonymous functions that can be passed to other functions and encapsulated in data structures. You will also learn how to use the pipe operator to chain function calls and how to use function guards to restrict the usage of a function using conditions on its arguments. In section 5, you will learn the basics of control flow options given by the Elixir programming language. We will explore how to use recursion as a way of implementing branching paths and loops and algorithms, how to use the if, cond, and case conditional expressions, and how to handle exceptions. In the next section, you will learn about how to manipulate the common input and output interfaces available in Elixir, the standard I.O. and files. This will allow you to read and present data in much more useful ways. Finally, we'll explore the Elixir toolset, which is what sets it apart from other Erlang descendants. We'll explore the anatomy of an Elixir application, how to scaffold and build projects using Mix, how to link different libraries and external dependencies in your code, and how to run tests using Mix and EXUnit. At the end of this course, you will have learned the core concepts behind the programming language and how you can leverage the Elixir toolset to build your own application from scratch. I'm very excited in starting this journey with you, and I'll see you in the next video.